In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on February 24, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. St. Mary's vs. San Diego The St. Mary's Gales will be going for their third consecutive win when they face the San Diego Toros today. The Gales are coming off a 69-64 win over Bayou as 6.5 points favorites. The Toros are coming off a 90-62 loss to Portland as 2-point underdogs. St. Mary's is 10-0 in its last 10 games against San Diego. St. Mary's is 8-0 against the spread in their last 8 Thursday games and 4-1-1 against the spread in their last 6 road games. The over is 8 to 3 to 1 in St. Mary's last 12 games. San Diego is 2 to 5 to 1 against the spread in their last 8 home games and 2 to 6 against the spread in their last 8 Thursday games. The over is 5 to 1 in San Diego's last 6 games. The home team is 4 to 0 against the spread in these two teams last 4 head to head meetings. The Toros have lost 4 of their last 5 games and 2 of their last 3 home games. They are very good offensively and they played worse in their last 3 games, scoring less than 60 points per game while making only 38% of their shots. They don't move the ball around well and their rebounding has dropped off in recent games. They have also been very careless with the ball. The Gales have played well defensively, even on the road where they are holding opponents under 65 points per game. They rebound the ball well and do a good job forcing turnovers. They held the Toros to 57 points in their first meeting and will keep their offense in check once again. The Gales aren't great offensively, but that's mostly due to their style of play. They shoot the ball well and do a good job finding the open man. They are also aggressive on the offensive glass, which will lead to more scoring opportunities. They also do a good job protecting the ball and won't give the Toros a lot of easy scoring opportunities. Even though the Toros play well defensively, they gave up 79 points or more in four of their last five games, so expect them to have a hard time slowing down the Gales. St. Mary's Gales to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Gales are averaging 69.8 points per game and 63.8 points per game on the road. They averaged 81.3 points per game in their last three games against the Toros. Even though San Diego is giving up 63.5 points per game at home, they gave up 75 points per game in their last three home games, so expect the Gales to go over their average in this game. The Toros are averaging 64.7 points per game and 62.3 points per game at home. They averaged 60 points per game in their last three games against the Gales. With St. Mary's giving up 61.9 points per game on the road, the Toros will score enough points to push the score over the total. The Gales and Toros played over the total in three of their last four meetings, so over the projected total is our full game total total pick. Santa Clara vs. Pepperdine The Santa Clara Broncos travel to Malibu, California to take on the Pepperdine Waves Thursday in a West Coast Conference clash. The Broncos lost their previous timeout at Gonzaga 81-69. The Waves dropped a heartbreaker at Portland 77-74. This will be the first time these two conference foes have played each other this season. The Santa Clara Broncos are led in scoring by Jalen Williams who averages 17.7 points and 4 rebounds for this team. Keshawn Justice averages 13 point three points and seven point three rebounds a game for this team pj pipes is the third leading scorer for the broncos as he averages 11.8 points a game for this team the broncos are averaging 76.6 points per game on 48.5 percent shooting from the field they are allowing opponents to score 71.6 points per game they are shooting 76.2 percent from the free throw line the pepperdine waves are coming off of a three-point loss to portland in their last timeout jan zydek had 22 points to pace the Waves, who have dropped four straight games. Houston Millet added 18 points. Mike Mitchell Jr. 
had 17 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists. The Waves are averaging 68.4 points per game on 43% shooting from the field. They are allowing opponents to score 77.3 points per game. They are shooting 72.6% from the free throw line. The Waves rank near the bottom of the conference on both ends of the floor. Meanwhile, Santa Clara's offense and overall pace should help put some added pressure on Pepperdine in this one. The Waves are 1-4 against the spread in their last five home games versus a team with a losing road record and are 1-5 against the spread in their last six Thursday games. The Broncos are 5-1 against the spread in their last six games following an against the spread win and are 7-2 against the spread in their last nine games overall. The Broncos are also 5-2 against the spread in their last seven road games versus a team with a losing home record. Santa Clara is simply the better squad in this, so Santa Clara to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both of these teams love to play fast. Both teams get a lot of shots up during the games. In Kempum's adjusted tempo rankings, Pepperdine is number 51 and Santa Clara is number 32. Santa Clara is 10th in the nation in field goal percentage. So not only do they take a lot of shots, they are making them too. The total has gone over in five of Pepperdine's last seven games. Santa Clara may have slid on offense during conference play, but the Broncos should be able to do some damage in this game. Pepperdine ranks ninth in the conference in adjusted defensive efficiency and dead last in defensive rebounding rate. The Waves also play fast, ranking fourth in adjusted tempo and third in average possession length on offense. Meanwhile, Santa Clara plays even faster, so this game should have no issue going over. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. Arizona vs. Utah The Arizona Wildcats will be going for their ninth consecutive win when they face the Utah Utes today. The Wildcats are coming off an 84-81 win over Oregon as 12.5 points favorites. The Utes are coming off a 60-58 win over California as 2.5 points favorites. Arizona is 7-3 in its last 10 games against Utah. Arizona is 7-1 against the spread in their last 8 games as a road favorite and 5-1 against the spread in their last 6 road games. The under is 9-4 in Arizona's last 13 games. Utah is 4-1 against the spread in their last 5 games and 2-5 against the spread in their last 7 games following and against the spread loss. The over is 19-7 in Utah's last 26 games following a win. The Wildcats have won 8 straight games and 5 of their last 6 road games. They have one of the best defenses in the country and they play just as well on the road where they are averaging more than 80 points per game while making 47% of their shots. They do a great job finding the open man and they're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country, which will lead to extra scoring opportunities. Even though the Utes play well defensively, they struggle against good teams and gave up 82 points in their last game against the Wildcats, so expect them to have a hard time slowing them down in this game. The Utes have lost five of their last six home games and they struggled offensively, scoring less than 70 points in four of those games. They've also struggled from three-point range, making less than 30% of their shots in their last three games. They struggled in the paint in their last three games and won't out-rebound the Wildcats. Even though the Wildcats aren't as efficient defensively on the road, they held four of their last six road opponents under 70 points and won't have trouble slowing down the Utes. So Arizona wild to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Wildcats are averaging 84.8 points per game and 82.1 points per game on the road. They averaged 77.6 points per game in their last three games against the Utes. With Utah giving up 64.9 points per game at home, the Wildcats will be held under their average in this game. The Utes are averaging 69.7 points per game and 72.4 points per game at home. They averaged 71.3 points per game in their last three games against the Wildcats. The Utes and Wildcats played under the total in their last two meetings. These teams combined for 146 points the last time they met, but these have traditionally been high-scoring affairs. In fact, Four of the last seven games have gone over 151. However, with Carlson out, it takes away the best scorer that Utah has. They will get some extra chances on the glass, but the Wildcats are an excellent rebounding team and will take away most of the second chances that Utah has become accustomed to. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.